Remember when personal data from millions of Facebook users was collected by a political consulting firm? This data was used to produce targeted advertising content and shift the balance of the political environment. This move was condemned by organizations like the Federal Trade Commission and Facebook was fined $5 billion for violating the privacy of its users. The company responsible for collecting this data without the consent of the users was Cambridge Analytica. I bet you thought Cambridge produces only dictionaries and rowing teams, but you'd be wrong. Cambridge Analytica has since shut down permanently. But online privacy is a very common topic discussion between governments and big tech companies. It is the right we have as users to keep private information to ourselves. Not to be confused with internet security, Online privacy deals with legal data collection, such as the information you put on your Facebook profile. Internet security deals with illegal data collection, like hacks and scams. Cambridge Analytica was one of the companies that didn't follow the laws of online privacy. What we can learn is that even though the governments are trying to protect us, in the end, it's up to us to safeguard our online privacy. And online privacy might be different to online security, but they are very close, like Cambridge and Oxford. Improving your online privacy will help you maintain good online security. So here are five simple steps you can take today. Number one, share less online. The best way to protect your information is just to share less of it. Obviously the whole point of social media is to share information with your network of friends or colleagues, but be especially careful with pictures of you or your loved ones, or any information you wouldn't want strangers to know about. Every few months, another company's privacy violations make headlines. For example, Zoom had a feature that connected its user accounts to LinkedIn profiles, revealing names and professions, even for, quote, anonymous users. Sharing less is the best way to stay safe. Number two, use strong, unique passwords and two-factor authentication. If you have been following this channel, you know how passionate I am about strong passwords. An extra character on your password makes it 10 times stronger, but passwords are useless if your devices don't automatically lock. So make sure the auto lock feature is enabled on your phone and your iPad. Next, avoid using the same code on many online accounts. Since you probably have dozens of accounts, a password manager is an easier way to keep the information secure. Finally, set up two-factor authentication for every account that allows you to. It's a second secure measure that can even protect you if you've shared your password with hackers in a phishing attack. Prefer to use an authenticator app instead of SMS for extra security. Number three, tighten privacy settings for your online accounts. The next step you can take, and perhaps the easiest, is simply review the privacy settings on the online accounts you use regularly. You can, for example, turn off geolocation data on your social media posts. Don't share everything publicly on your your social media profile, keep some information for your friends only or followers. Maybe even go the extra mile to limit your likes and comments on posts, since they might show up in search results. Delete unused mobile apps and browser extension. Now I'll teach you a clever trick. When you're about to download a new app, ask yourself, how does this app make money? There is a saying that goes, if you're not paying for something, then you are the product. Companies make millions or even billions of dollars off collecting your personal information. And they're doing so legally, since when you signed up, you've agreed to their terms and conditions. This question can help guide you towards more privacy-focused apps. If you don't understand how an app makes money, user data might be the answer. So remove any apps that you haven't used in a while. Number five, browse online using a secure VPN. Your web browser like Google Chrome, Firefox, or Safari may also collect data on your online activities. That's why I would advise to have a look at these two browser extensions. Everywhere forces encrypted connections on supported sites, helping hide data like credit card numbers on your Wi-Fi network. Ad blockers or tracking blockers prevent sites from tracking you. Still, the best way to encode your browsing information is through the use of a VPN. You can try Aura's VPN for free by clicking the link in the description. It's very refreshing to see that you have more control over your online privacy than you might have originally thought. Scandals like the Cambridge Analytica one don't happen that often, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Take the power of your online privacy in your own hands and subscribe to this channel for more easy privacy protection tips. My name is Upton, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.